Point out some of those features on there if you can reach them. Okay, so this one is one of the wind sensors, and here's another wind sensor. Up at the top, we have two nav cams on each side of the mast, and we have those are for engineering. And we have mast cams, uh, cameras which are in color. And this big block on top is the chem cam. And it is our laser, and it vaporizes rocks so you can get the uh, composition. Uh, on the end of the, oh, I can't do the end of the arm, I think it's too close to the wall. Uh, just a second. Uh, with just a second. Yeah, so in here we have our inlets to our internal instruments, SAM and Kenmet, and then our radiation uh, sensor is over here. And then, oh, we can see the drill nicely right here. Uh, that drill is deployed on the ground and the powder is created and it goes up that little sleeve into this part here, which is the camera, which is what processes our powdered sample and sips them. And then you'll walk through the rover, it feels really weird. Uh, here is the calibration circuit for the mass cameras. It has uh, filters, and so using the calibration target helps us uh, evaluate dust and collects dust. And this target here is the ChemCam target, uh, calibration target. Uh, we have our high gain antenna here. This part moves around to point up to orbiters in the sky. Uh, to send data back to those and then to Earth. And this is our low gain antenna, which receives our, planet, our signals from Earth and is the emergency backup uh, communication system. And then this is our RTG, which is our uh, uh, radio isotope thermal generator. It has a teeny bit of plutonium in, in it that produces heat, and that's converted to battery power. The batteries are inside the interior of the rover. These fins are to get rid of excess heat uh, because sometimes it produces more than it can use uh, for the river. Okay, oh, wonderful, thank you. Okay, that worked out well.